Hey gang, it's David again, back to you with the next part in our My Website Redesign mini-series. And in this one, we're going to take a look at creating this kind of a portfolio effect. And maybe then we're going to do the My Courses section. And basically, our front page will be complete. So if that's something that you're interested in, just keep watching. So I'm going to start with, uh, maybe I'm going to grab this text because, uh, of course, we're going to create this heading first, but I think I can just type it in. It's not that difficult. So I'm going to go to my page and I'm going to maybe grab this piece of text and I'm just going to duplicate it. And then I'm going to put it down here, if I can just put it somewhere, somewhere here. And I'm going to change the text to um, latest, uh, latest work there we go and maybe i'm gonna wrap it with a diff and beneath that i'm gonna add that text and i'm just going to paste that in and i'm gonna change the size of this diff to something like 55 percent this is just basically the same width as uh, these guys right here and you know i just want to keep things consistent so I guess it looks, it looks, I guess it looks uh, consistent right now. So I guess the biggest challenge here when it comes to this uh, portfolio part would be to create this kind of a, uh, well, a hover effect, basically. So whenever I hover over this diff, I want this card like to appear. So with the background, uh, with some uh, text and this uh, like uh, an address URL. And of course, I would like this whole, well, essentially a diff to link to a specific, uh, well, specific page, specific project. So I'm going to go to my site and I'm just going to add a div. And of course, it needs to go below somewhere here. And maybe I'll add a new class here. So it's going to be something like portfolio, uh, maybe like container, like something like that. And I'm going to give it a like a nice margin top. So let's see, like 50 pixels. And I'm going to set the width to something like 75%. If we take a look at our design, we can see that this whole diff is kind of like, you know, overlapping this uh, right, this right, well, kind of like sidebar, I guess. So it's going to be a bit wider. And I'm going to set the height, uh, the height of this guy is 500 pixels. So that's what I'm going to, that's what I'm going to set right here. So 500 pixels. And of course, uh, what I would like to also add is the, is that like this image that I've already extracted. And for now, I'm just going to make it, um, you know, like a dummy like a dummy image i mean um i am going to i am gonna make it like a real like a project a thumbnail later on but for now i'm just gonna leave it like that or we could always just go to pixels and just uh, search for something like design maybe or maybe even like web design let's see if we got something like this and we could just grab a an image like this i'm just going to copy image link and of course, don't forget to move to the like the div because if we set the background image to our class, that's going to be later when we clone this div, that's going to be added to like each and every div. So that's not what I want. So I'm going to go to my div and I'm going to add that background image like that. Now, I guess we could also create a new class. I'm going to call it like image PG. And uh, this guy is going to have like this, you know, like the standard, so background uh, size to, I'm going to set it to cover, no repeat, and 50% for the left and 50% for the top to make the focal point, uh, you know, like at the center. So once we have this like portfolio container class added, now we have to add that, um, like an overlay effect. And I'm going to do it by first adding a div, like inside this div. And I'm going to edit a class of, well, let's say, like overlay. And now we just have to kind of like, you know, cover this whole div with this overlay. So first I'm going to add this background color to it. Then let's go to the size and spacing and let's set the width to 100% and the height to 100% as well. And inside I'm going to add a text. Maybe I'm going to add a heading. And the first one was web dev UI design. So let's just leave it. That's it's kind of it's kind of like a dummy heading, but you know it will do. I'm gonna set the tag to something like heading three, and I'm also maybe gonna add a class to it, something like heading for portfolio, so something like that. 
and I'm gonna change the text color to our white color. I'm gonna maybe make it just a tad bigger, something like 26. And maybe I'm gonna go to typography and set the letter spacing to like 0.1 pixel or like 0.5. This should be this should be enough. And if we just take a look at here, I'm just going to grab this piece of text and uh, let's maybe add another heading. And I'm going to just paste that in. So I'm gonna add the class to this guy. So let's call it like subheading for the portfolio. And of course, this guy is gonna be white as well. Maybe I'm gonna add that letter spacing of half a pixel as well. And I'm gonna change the font size to something like 20. This should be enough. And I'm gonna change the font weight to let's see like 700 or maybe 600 or maybe 500. Uh, or even 400. I guess 400 would be will be uh, enough. And lastly, I'll add a simple text and let's call it like um, text portfolio. I mean, let's add a class to it. And again, I'm gonna add a the the right color and I'm gonna add something like a like a dummy URL. So let's do something like www project project one dot com. This should be enough. And let's also maybe change the weight to something like lighter, maybe 400. And lastly, we can grab this overlay and maybe let's add some padding. Um, let's try like 50 to the top and to the bottom, I mean to the left. But I think that it would be a good idea to see, to consult with our design. Uh, yeah, as you can see, they, these guys look a bit different. I think that I should put them in the center. I'm not sure if these guys are in the center, in fact. So let's actually add like a margin here and let's put these guys in the center. So I'm just gonna grab this guy. I'm gonna go to size and spacing, or maybe let's just add our margin. That's what it's here for. Let's add like, and that's gonna be a bit too much. So margin bottom S, this should be enough. So now let me just grab our div and let's maybe just like bring all these guys to the center and then to the middle, but um, maybe I should first wrap these guys with another div. Quite a lot of divs right here. Mm, okay, and I guess this is gonna look a bit uh, better right now. So okay, we got our class of overlay, but of course we don't want to see it as default. So I'm gonna go to the effects and I'm gonna go to the opacity and I'm gonna set the opacity to zero. So right now, whenever we hover over our this main portfolio container div, this guy right here, we want to see our, our overlay. So I'm going to go to my style sheets and I did some basic, uh, basic housekeeping right here. I just removed that contact form seven, um, well, custom CSS, and I've decided to create a new custom, uh, like a, you know, like a custom style sheet. And uh, in here, I've just pasted that code in. This is like this CF7 uh, form CSS and I'm just going to add like a new line like a new comment and that's gonna say like I don't know portfolio effects and in here what we want to do is we want to target our portfolio container class and when we hover over it we want to affect our overlay so overlay and basically what we want to do is we want to set on, well, the opacity back to one. So whenever we hover over this guy, this whole like piece is going to come back. So this effect may be working, but as you can see, it's, um, it's too abrupt to my taste. So I'm going to save this guy. And basically all we need to do is we need to just target this um, like overlay div. And I'm going to add my transition class to it. And now we can see that when we hover over this guy, we basically get what we need. So I guess the last part here would be to, to just add a link to this guy. And for now, I'm just going to enter like a dummy link. There we go. So now our cursor changes when we hover over it. And of course, it's going to be like linking to what we wanted, like eventually. So now all we need to do is to just duplicate this guy. And of course, all these effects are going to be preserved, but... Uh, According to my design, we don't need this gap right here. And that gap is being created by our margin top. 
so this guy right here so if we just remove it you know everything's gonna go up but i think that we're gonna have to add like a margin bottom right here and to this uh, to this piece of text so right now our or maybe we could add it to the whole div so this whole div right here i'm gonna add that margin bottom so now everything is looking as it's supposed to and maybe I'm just going to quickly grab some other image, like say, uh, maybe let's go with this one. I'm just going to copy image link and grab this link wrapper. And don't forget to target the link, not the, mm, not the class. So I'm just going to paste that in. And I'm going to maybe clone this guy one more time. And let's see, maybe we're going to have something. Oh, let's go with this one. Why not? So I'm just going to copy this image and grab this final uh, final link and i'm going to go to background and i'm just going to change that image so it looks something like this so now when we just close all these guys maybe let's actually see what they look like when we <laughs> once we logged out so i'm gonna go down and i'm gonna hover over all these elements and as you can see and we got these transitions without any fancy JavaScript jQuery or nothing like that. Just some simple oxygen magic and some simple CSS. So of course the last thing to do would be to just check the responsiveness and as you can see it doesn't look all that great. So I'm just going to show this panel. So the first thing that I'm going to do is, um, is I'm going to take care of this div. So this is this guy right here. So I'm going to just target it. And let's go to 992 and I'm going to just set the width to 100%. There we go. And I'm going to do the same with these guys. So let me just grab my link wrapper and this portfolio containers width is going to be set to 100%. And there we go. Basically, now if we go down to 768, it all should look all right. Maybe except it won't because of these guys right here. So let's see if they are. They look OK on 992. They still do, but on, on 768, uh, we need to change this. And I think that we need to change also this, like it's not supposed to be H1. Let's do like H4. And I'm going to have to change it somewhere here. I think it's going to be this one. So H4. And same for this last guy. It's going to be the subheading H4. And I'm going to go to the typography. I'm going to make sure that the text align is set to the left so now when we go to 768 everything should look uh, a bit better and uh, maybe maybe we can change the font size as well let's do like 18 and let's see what maybe let's just first go to 992 maybe there we should change the font as well uh, it looks okay but i think that we well there's a bit of a problem with the padding right here so you know what let's actually see if we can fix this like this whole positioning without even touching the padding so I'm going to grab our portfolio container. And as far as I remember, we had some padding right here. Maybe, no, it was for our overlay. So I'm going to grab this overlay. Going to go to size and spacing. And we got some padding right here. So I'm going to just remove that. And now let's see if we go to 992, if it looks a bit better. And 768. Uh, it does look better, but I think that maybe we could, maybe we could like, move all these elements to the center so i would just grab this div and add 768 let's try to do let's try to set everything to the center um, but since i didn't add the class um so maybe i will add the class so i'm gonna grab this div and let's add like a something like a sub container for our portfolio something like that and when we go to 768 I want this guy to be set to the center so this should look better so i'm just going to add the class to this guy it's gonna look a bit better and to this div so sub container uh, portfolio and it looks much much better so the last part here would be to just add this uh, let me just expand that the see more link down here so i'm just going to add a heading probably that's supposed to be somewhere here so i'm just going to try to move it down here maybe i will succeed 
I'm just going to collapse these elements and I'm going to try to move it. Maybe I'm going to try to move it to the section first and then I'm going to drag it down. And uh, let me let me just grab this guy and I'm going to type in like C more. And uh, I'm going to make it a link. And this is going to go to our portfolio page. And let's just maybe add like the 50 pixel margin to the top. And I'm going to change the color. So I'm going to change the color to something like this. This should be enough. And maybe the last thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to just try to like center this guy. So I'm just going to set both left and right margins to the center. And yeah, basically we got this guy created, but I think that I still need to change this guy. Let's see. Let's do like H3 and maybe let's do like 22 because I think that it was set to 22 right here and to medium. But uh, maybe that's not enough. Maybe it's just a bit too small. So let's do something like 28 maybe. And let's set the font weight to something like 600. And let's see what it's going to look like when I close these guys. Maybe that's maybe that's actually a bit too much. So let's do like 22 and then let's hide these guys. This should be this should be enough. So basically this part here is is complete. It wasn't that difficult. Actually, I was afraid that it might be a bit more difficult. So there you go. I hope you like this tutorial. I hope you learned a thing or two. You know, hit the like button, subscribe and uh, as always, have a nice design.